show you how to put your brand on a logo from private label in a box. First click on logos and packaging. Then scroll down to the logos and choose one that you like. I'm going to choose this one. Right click and save image as I'm just going to save it on downloads now go to pickmonkey.com and so go to the design and click custom size. You want it to be 2000 by 2000 pixels. Then you want it transparent. Now go to the little butterfly image and do add your own. Oh. Find the one that you want. Okay, so the bigger the image is, the more, the better it'll look on like websites and stuff. So to grow it and shrink it, you go put your mouse over here, do you slide in and out and it grows it and shrinks it. So, then go to the T for text and you click add text. I'm going to call it rain petals or raindrops because it kind of looks like raindrops. And to grow it, you can either grow it like how you grew the logo or down here in size. And if it does this, you just put your mouse over here, hold down the mouse and slide it. If you want it centered, you also you hold down the mouse and slide it on this side too until these little bar things that come up are lined up with the edge of the entire image. Then, on this, you click right here, which centers it, and you can grow it some more if you want. I'm going to grow mine. Oops. Okay. Then, you can bring it down a little bit if you want. So, to move it around, you just hold down with the mouse, click on it and hold down, and then just drag it. And then there's all these different fonts that you can choose. So once you find one that you like, if it's too big, so like this one, if it's way too big, maybe that one, if it's too big, you just go up here and you can shrink it a little bit. Then you can pull it. And you just do that until it becomes flat. You can also shrink it from over here. Oops.
then you can change the color of it over here where it says color and you just hold down and move it or you can click on the color that you want and if you want it to be like the same color as the logo you click on this then you drag it over the, whatever you want it to be the same color as like if I want it to be the same color as this blue shape I, I'd click on it and see how it changes the color so I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to grow it a little bit. And then when you're done with it, you click save up here. And it brings you to this page. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it PNGs. and you want it to be PNG because then you have the transparent background and if you want to resize it for whatever you need it smaller for you just go up here and you click resize so like, I'm going to resize it to 300 and keep proportions. And you can also crop it. Like that to get rid of extra space or something and then save it again make sure it's a PNG and then click save to my computer and then you save it. And now you have a logo.